on everyone uh thanks again for checking out my channel uh latest video up now um last weekend basically was the first road trip out we've got the gear together enough to get out camping now uh and as time goes on now we'll just add to it add to it add to it so last weekend was just a basic camp nephew races go-karts but a prime opportunity to uh to get out there and get it tested unfortunately when i arrived it was basically a, a car park um weren't a great setting to do any video in or a bit disappointed but hey i weren't there for just a camp and i had to watch nephew as well so i didn't get a chance to do any filming there i wanted to get a video up of like the basic setup we've put together uh to get us out there and what have you so this weekend i've come up to the in-laws lovely idyllic place um excuse the algae in the river it happens but yeah uh, so i thought come up here get it all set up uh and show you the basics of what i've put together so far plans have slightly changed the missus now after being together 15 years has decided she wants to get married so the roof tent fund has got donated to that uh so the roof tent might be slight delay so what i did is i went out to fishing republic uh after looking online for a little while there was cheap crap tents i weren't interested i wanted something that's going to last me at least a, a year maybe maybe till the middle of next year till i get around to the funds of the roof tent uh they suggested a fishing bivy two-man fishing bivy so i had a look very strong very robust easy to put together we camped in it last weekend um uh, the small patch of grass i did find we managed to pitch the tent absolutely fantastic bought two fishing camp beds uh, and two good sleeping bags lovely and warm all night no wind no drafts no nothing uh and i really really were impressed so for the time being we're going to use fishing bivy uh we're camping in like i said till i get around to the roof tent so what i'm going to now is i'll pitch everything up and then we'll have a quick run through and what have you what i have found is i'm keeping a notepad now uh in the truck so like last weekend there was a few bits that i needed some bits i like uh, and whatever so like i said it's a learning curve for me so i keep knocking them down keep putting the bits together so let's go and have a look. set up uh first time i've actually had it set up and i do quite like it the notepad's filling up first thing being i want a center pole the middle of the tap just to keep the tension in the middle the sides are taut open them to taut it's just the center's lacking a little bit uh but like i said that's what the notepad's for so we'll get an idea of what we need to do fishing baby put it up in around 10 minutes dogs have been inside so it has been ruffled up but the Ground sheet does go tall, the dogs have been in there, uh, and what have you. As you can see, two camp beds in there, ample space for a third, uh, and still plenty of room to manoeuvre and move about. I really, really do like the, ta uh, the tent, to be fair. It's good, solid, robust. Like I said, I camped in it last weekend, and it was good. And I really, really did like it. The tap serves a good purpose, like I say, it will be tall, once again, a pole in the middle, and a couple more uh, cables on it. As you can see, we've got two storage boxes so far. There will be more to come. Just pop the lid off. Inside the one is the cooking one, kettle, pans, etc. Uh, the bottom one is just like guide ropes, uh, bits and bobs, like a toolbox. Uh, and with the cooking setup, which is in the last one. As adding to the ever growing list, one thing I did realise last weekend the gas bottle I fitted, uh, I've had it for about four years, it's, been, it's had multiple uses, it's been used as a blow gas ball started to fail on me and I didn't have anything as a backup to cook on luckily uh, I was out with my sister she was in a caravan so it wasn't an issue uh, but it's just one of those things that if I wasn't if I was on my own I'd be pretty stuck so 
uh, on my to-do list, I'm going to, I want a nice little ammo tin stove or simmer, um, just so I've got kind of a backup or, you know, I fancy cooking on an open flame, um, I can do that. So, next thing to do, I want to do is get the auxiliary battery in on a, a small stove for backup camping and uh, basically just add from there. I mean, I've got it all up today, got set up. I know what I need to do. I know what bits I need to improve and uh, alter <clears throat> to be a great setup. But no, I really do like the setup. Uh, the wife actually came out and she loves it. And maybe willing to even join me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey. So thank you very much for watching. Please give us a subscribe. Click a thumbs up. And if you click the notification bell in the corner, um, it'll just notify you when a new video comes up. Um, if anybody wants to leave any comments regarding what I can do to improve or any other suggestions of what they can see and what I can improve and make better or better ideas, uh, drop a comment below. Uh, everything's much appreciated and thanks for watching.